Right now, there are two ongoing police investigations. Of course, this centered around what happened over the weekend. Meanwhile, around 7 o'clock tonight, hundreds of students of all races gathered on campus to show Muslim American students they are not alone. It's a small glimpse into the life of Muslim American students at the University of Michigan. They pray five times a day, but not usually with hundreds of others of all races looking on, like Louisa Kane holding her sign. She's upset about the latest incident. An 18-year-old student shoved down a hill by two guys near South University and Washtenaw Avenues after yelling at her about being in America and religion. It's just absurd and it's horrible. And that's why we're here tonight to show that we're against it. And hopefully, there'll be more people here in the future. I should do one. Student Sadiq Mohammed was out front, overwhelmed. So many decided to show up and stand with them. He's also aware of the other ongoing investigation. Another student was forced to take off her hijab or head covering and was threatened to be set on fire if she didn't. In, in the past few days, we've been reaching out to our sisters. Uh, to know that we're here for them, to know that uh, there's always safe spaces for us. Students here telling Action News this gathering tonight makes them feel even more like they belong here, but concerns about another attack don't go away easily. I think maybe that's on the back of my mind somewhere just because it's all over the news, but I don't think I'm afraid. In regards to the most recent incident where that young student was pushed down a hill, right now they have a very vague description, only that these were two men, white men, wearing a dark coat, and they were both considered college-aged. In Ann Arbor, Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News.